I was just, uh, I did an Instagram post, and but I figured this is worth sharing on YouTube as well. But <clears throat> just looking at the reason behind such a large trap when you're catching beavers, uh, when you're targeting beavers. So, you know, my, <clears throat> my foothold trap of choice is a number five bridger, right? That's a seven and a half inch jaw spread. That's a large trap. But this is why. You look at these back feet, that's, I mean, that's, <clears throat> well, well, we'll get to that in just a second, but this is a beaver back foot laid over a one and a half coil spring. This is a Duke one and a half coil spring, and you can see there's a third of the, tra of the foot still hanging outside of the trap. So you move over to a, a number two, a number two is big enough, right? Well, <clears throat> it could be, you still got some foot that doesn't fit in the trap you know if he had his foot turned another way or you know all you need to catch is part of the part of the foot and yeah yeah could be could be um but then you just lay that foot on top of your and i mean it's still a stretch but that whole foot will fit in there right so and there's no doubt that a one and a half will catch a beaver by the front foot, right? So yeah, a one and a half would work, but why are you only trying to catch beavers 50% of the time? I mean, if you're even halfway serious about beaver trapping beavers, well, and why would you be trapping beavers if you weren't wanting to catch them? Um, you know, and I understand if, if all you've got is, got is some smaller traps, but if you're serious about trying to catch beavers, <clears throat> I want the best opportunity that I have to trap them and uh, I'm not going to try to just target a front foot catch if I can if I can afford the traps I'm going to try to target every single foot they got because that front foot will fit in that number five just like the back foot will so anyway just a just a quick rundown of why you know people don't realize how large that back foot is but I mean that's that's as big as my hand. Beaver's back foot is insanely large. So the best, my recommendation is to use a large trap to make sure that you catch him by whatever foot he steps in your trap with.